All right, so I just got back from watching the Stardust movie from my girlfriend's house. We just sat down, just watched the movie on Hulu, and wow, wow, do I have a lot to say. <clears throat> now, I'll start by saying this. Um, I'm not going to talk about um, if the movie is accurate to David Bowie's actual life, because first of all, I'm not really an expert on David Bowie's personal life. I love his music, but I, I never really paid attention to his personal life, so I don't know that much about like his origins and all that stuff, so... I'll just focus on the um, movie. And second of all, I feel like it's a movie first and it's an adaptation second. So I'm going to be focusing on this, on Stardust as a movie. Now, I'll start by saying this. Um, I had low expectations going in and somehow I still came out disappointed. Not even disappointed. I was just bored. I was just baffled by it. How they could take someone like David Bowie, arguably the most creative British artist in the past century, and just make and just give him a dull, long, two-hour, boring movie. Like, I honestly don't know what to say about this because I was just bored the entire time. Um, like I said, I had low expectations, but. As I was watching the trailer, I was like, this movie is going to suck. When I saw the commercial, I was like, this movie is going to suck. But I was hoping it would at least be like The Room or Battlefield Earth where it's like so bad it's good and it still entertains me. I was not entertained watching this movie. It was honestly shocking how bored I was. And I don't have high expectations for movies. So basically, this movie, sum, this movie summed up. It's just David Bowie just going around, he's complaining about why his career sucks, he's complaining about why labels don't understand him, and, um, <laughs> that's pretty much it, he's just going around America being like, oh, why don't labels get me, why am I not getting signed, why is my music not selling, and I just have so many questions about this movie coming out, uh, my girlfriend was watching the movie with me, and I'm a super I'm a super big David Bowie fan. David Bowie is my favorite musician of all time. My girlfriend, she's not really that familiar with David Bowie outside of like some songs like Heroes and some other songs I play in the car when we drive. But yeah, so it's kind of an interesting experience. And about the first 20 minutes, she was like, is David Bowie a transgender? Because he had like the long hair and he wore dresses for some reason. Now, I know to realize David Bowie did have like a weird fashion sense. That made sense. Um, but the movie didn't explain why he just wore dresses. He would just go outside and just wear dresses. He's like, oh, it's a man's dress. <laughs> and he would wear like high heel shoes. So the movie doesn't explain why he does this. Um, so he just goes around complaining. Um... I will say this, I did like the part where um, David Bowie went to a Velvet Underground um, concert and he saw like uh, Lou Reed, or he was like an actor portraying Lou Reed. Uh, I thought that was kind of cute because um, David Bowie has said that the Velvet Underground and Lou Reed were like huge inspirations to him. And he also helped produce uh, Lou Reed's second album. Um, so that was kind of cute. I, I did like that part. I'll, I'll give the movie that. but. Honestly, he just goes around, David Bowie just goes around complaining. Why is my music not selling? Why am I not getting radio shows? And <laughs> the funniest thing is, um, he's, he, um, there's like this one scene where he sits down with a, um, an interviewer or like a record label executive. I can't remember. And he's like, who is David Bowie? And he's like, uh, David Bowie is, uh, he's, uh, and, and he couldn't answer. He couldn't answer who David Bowie was. And it was, it was just painful because he's complaining about why his music is not selling why he's not getting shows why he's not um out um on the radio and the thing is he doesn't even know who he is well this does make sense um i, I i'm sorry to keep comparing it to real life real life david bowie but real life david bowie he was kind of like a mismatch too uh, one album he would do like rock, another he would do folk, then jazz, then pop, then disco. So David Bowie was all over the place with his music. So it does kind of make sense why the, the movie David Bowie is kind of confused. But at the same time, the movie David Bowie, he has like three albums out. I think this is about where like Hunky Dory is. So he has like three albums out. So he should know who he is musically. Um, and... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just, I was just so bored of watching this. Um, 
What else did I want to say? Man, this movie sucked. Um, there's this, like, and um, oh, one thing I want to talk about. Um, David Bowie. Um, so I didn't, I don't know if this is real or not, but like in the movie, his family has like this. Um, uh, it's not really explained, but they have like this schizophrenia that's like passed down. Um, and uh, David Bowie's brother got it, and David Bowie's like, oh my goodness. I'm getting schizophrenia. I'm getting schizophrenia. And then, um, so that's when he creates the um, Ziggy Stardust personality. Now, the big question I have is, are they kind of like saying, are they kind of like um, giving credit to schizophrenia or whatever to David Bowie's creativity? So the movie, I, I guess the movie is trying to say that schizophrenia is what made David Bowie David Bowie, and that's why he has like so many different characters. That's why he created the Thin White Duke. That's why he created uh, Ziggy Stardust. He created uh, Major Time. He created Aladdin the Sane. Uh, all these different characters. So that's all because of schizophrenia? Like, what? What? I found that part the most insulting. Like, I, like, like I said, I, I don't know if this is actually based on reality or if the movie put the schizophrenia in. Uh, I might do some research on it, but I honestly find that disgusting. Like the the whole the movie is tr is pretty much implying that David Bowie is creative, and he and he was successful because he had the schizophrenia and he turned the family weakness into a strength. But it was just poorly handled. I mean, David Bowie um, was extremely creative. He had he had a huge imagination. Um, the main takeaway I have from David Bowie is that you can be whoever you want. You can be anything you want. Um, and um, you can be anything you want. You, you're, just, you're just limited to your, you're just, um, your imagination is unlimited. And you're only li limited by your mental barriers. And um, that's what David Bowie was. He was experimental. He broke grounds. Did all this, all that. That's why I love David Bowie. Now, the movie is saying that Screw all creativity and stuff. If you don't have a mental disease, you will not be a successful musician. I just found that disgusting. And, um, the ending. What was the ending? The ending was horrible. Before I talk about the ending, I want to talk about the soundtrack. Now, I know, um, I know, uh, I almost said Marilyn Manson. <laughs> I know Bowie's family, um, publicly slammed this movie. And they would not give the rights over to the movie to use the um, to use um, David Bowie's actual music. But what was the soundtrack? The soundtrack did not fit David Bowie at all. You could at least use like some like you could at least like try to replicate replicate some of his music and just um, maybe like do like a loose cover of it. When I listened to this soundtrack, it did not give me David Bowie vibes at all. Like, it was really weird. Like, if they had, like, some saxophones or, like, some other stuff, then that would have been a cool nod. But, um, other than that, it was just weak. Really weak soundtrack. I did not get a David Bowie feel at all. I didn't have, like, the wonderful and, um, um, kind of weird feeling that David Bowie gives. It was just a bland soundtrack. It was honestly really bad. Like, in the ending. What was that ending? What was that ending? What was that ending? The movie is called Stardust. And literally, in the last 10 minutes of the movie, that's when David Bowie turns into Stardust. Uh, he just comes out of nowhere, just puts on some makeup or whatever, and just goes on stage. And... It's crap. His performance is absolute crap. He performs one of the songs off of um the tr um Ziggy Stardust and the uh, the Ziggy Stardust album, the tragedy of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars. He performed like a uh, a deep cut of that song. The obvious choice would have been Starman or um Five Years. I I just don't know where it, this came from. When he put on the makeup and went on stage, th there was no build-up. There was no hype. There was no wonderful, um, really cool rock star feeling. There was no, like, 
alien or elseworld feeling because you know he's betraying an alien uh Ziggy Stardust is an alien so there was no really no cool feeling he just went on stage and just gave a crap performance um I do not know how they screwed this up he couldn't sing Starman his most famous song he couldn't sing five years what uh, I, I'm baffled this is like watching Spider-Man and then the last five minutes of the Spider-Man movie, Peter Parker finally puts on his costume and goes fight crime. This is like <laughs> this is like watching a James Bond movie, and then the last ten minutes he puts on his suit and he goes fights uh uh he goes fights one of his villains. Uh, I was gonna name the one with the scar on his face, but I forgot what his name was. Bluefield, I think. I, I, it's been a while since I watched James Bond, but I digress. It was horrible. He looked nothing like Ziggy Stardust. Um, and it was it was really just disgusting. Like It was bad enough that the movie was boring, but I couldn't even get a good payoff. The last 10 minutes, he turns into Ziggy Stardust. He doesn't do anything cool. He just goes on stage, sings a song, boom. That's it. It's not even one of his hit songs. Why did he sing? Why did he sing Starman? That would have been so much cooler. It would have given like this alien feeling, and the, the movie just makes no sense. Um, one minute he's arguing with his wife, then the next minute he has like thousands of fans. He just goes on stage. It's oh my god! Oh my goodness! There was really nothing I liked about this movie. I, I did, like I said, I did kind of like the subtle hints where they kind of talked about, like, Lou Reed. And um, there was this one subtle reference where his wife and uh, David Bowie were arguing. And she said, I was supposed to be the queen and you were supposed to be the king. And I got that reference. I know they're referencing um, Heroes, where he's like, I, I can be queen and you, you can be queen and nothing. Like, I know he, I know the movie was referencing on that song, so I actually really liked that. It was really subtle, but I, I got the song reference. Um, but yeah, I... This movie was utter garbage. Like, I would never watch this movie again. I mean, at least with the Doors movie, I know a lot of Doors fans hate that movie. The Doors is one of my favorite bands of all time, but at least I like that movie because, yeah, it's not accurate to the actual Doors, but the Doors movie was actually entertaining. This movie was not. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like I said, I did not have high standards for this movie. I did not have high expectations, but somehow I still came out disappointed. I still can't believe this movie was called Stardust, and Ziggy Stardust literally appears in the last 10 minutes! What is this? Um, honestly, um, I just want to close out by saying, how, how did they do this? They took one of the coolest rock stars of all time. He has many different characters. Din White Duke, um, Aladdin Sane, uh, T uh, Major Tom, um, uh, all these different characters. Over a five- over a 50 year career and this is the best they could come up with uh, I, I honestly did not I honestly do not know how you make David Bowie bored I honestly do not know how you make David Bowie bored but this movie did it somehow they made David Bowie boring oh my goodness oh my I'm done. I'm done. I'm, do I'm, I'm recording this video before I'm going to bed, and I'm going to be angry going to bed. <sighs> it's anger. Should have waited. I should have done this video earlier, so that way I wouldn't go to bed early. Or go to bed angry, but here we are. Don't watch Stardust, man. Why is the movie even called Stardust? If David Bowie's going to be in the movie... If, if Ziggy Stardust is going to be in the movie for 10 minutes, why would they even bother calling it Stardust? 
Movie's garbage. Don't watch it. Don't watch the movie. Save yourself the time and listen to the Ziggy Stardust album. That would be better. Or a lot insane. That's my favorite David Bowie album. Listen to a lot insane, actually. Listen to that instead of watching this. All right, I'm done for the night. I'm going to bed angry. Good night. Peace.